welcome to the lesson on areas of parallelograms. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify figures that are on the same base and between the same parallels. Additionally, you will be able to prove that parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. You will also be able to prove that parallelograms on the same base that have equal areas lie between the same parallels. Let's look at the figures given here. In the first figure, we have a parallelogram ABCD and a triangle PDC. What is common between these two polygons? First, both the parallelogram and the triangle lie on the same base DC. Second, the vertices AB and P that are opposite to the base DC lie on the line AP. Line AP is parallel to the base DC. Here these two lines are called parallels. Next, look at the second figure. Here the trapezium ABCD and the parallelogram EFCD are on the same base DC. The vertices ABE and F opposite to the base DC lie on the line AF that is parallel to DC. In both the figures, we have polygons that lie on a common base and vertices that lie on the line opposite to the base. Such figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels. Now, look at these figures. Can we say that these figures are on the same base and between the same parallels? No. Though the base is common, the vertices opposite to the base do not lie on the line parallel to the base. Next, we'll discuss parallelograms that are on the same base and between the same parallels. Here are two parallelograms, ABCD and EFGH. Let's rearrange these parallelograms. The parallelograms are now on the same base AB and between the same parallels AB and CH. Do you think there is a relation between the areas of these parallelograms? Yes, in fact there is. Let's try to find it. You know that the area of a parallelogram is the product of the base and height. In the figure, the base of both the parallelograms is AB. We'll name it B. Since both parallelograms lie between the same parallels, the height of the parallelograms are equal. We'll name the height H. The bases and heights of both parallelograms are equal. Does it imply that the area of both parallelograms are equal? Yes, it does. Based on this activity, we arrive upon a theorem. Parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. Now, let's prove this theorem mathematically. In the figure, parallelograms ABCD and ABEF are on the same base, AB, and between the same parallels as AB and CF. We will prove that the area of the parallelogram ABCD is equal to the area of the parallelogram ABEF. When the two parallelograms lie on the same base, two triangles AFD and BEC are formed. In triangles AFD and BEC, AF is equal to BE. This is because AF and BE are the opposite sides of the parallelogram ABEF. Similarly, AD and BC are also equal. These are the opposite sides of the parallelogram ABCD. Now consider the parallelogram ABCD and ABEF. 
Here, AB is equal to CD. And AB is equal to EF. Because they form the opposite sides of the parallelogram ABCD and ABEF. Since AB is equal to CD and AB is equal to EF, we can say that CD is equal to EF. Based on this, we get equation 1. Now, if you look at CD, it is equal to CE plus ED. Similarly, EF is equal to ED plus DF. Based on this, we get equation 2 and 3. On substituting equation 2 and 3 in equation 1, we get equation 4. Cancelling ED from both sides of equation 4, we get CE is equal to DF. In triangle AFD and BEC, we have AF equals BE, AD equals BC, and CE equals DF. Hence, by the SSS congruence rule, triangle AFD and triangle BEC are congruent. As the triangles are congruent, their areas are also equal. Now let's take a look at the complete figure. The area of the parallelogram ABCD is equal to the area of trapezium ABED plus the area of the triangle BEC. Since we just proved that the area of triangle BEC is equal to triangle AFD, we can say that the area of the parallelogram ABCD is equal to the area of the trapezium ABED plus the area of the triangle AFD. This is equal to the area of the parallelogram ABEF. Therefore, we have proved that the area of the parallelogram ABCD is equal to the area of the parallelogram ABEF. Thus, the theorem is proved. Now, let's see the corollary to the theorem we just proved. The corollary states that parallelograms on the same base that have equal areas are between the same parallels. ABCD and ABEF are two parallelograms on a common base AB. The areas of these parallelograms are also equal. Let's assume the bases of the parallelograms are B and the heights are H1 and H2 respectively. Applying the formula for area of a parallelogram, we can express equation 1 as follows. Cancelling B that is common in both sides, we get H1 is equal to H2. As the heights of the parallelograms ABCD and ABEF are equal, the common base AB and the opposite side FC are parallel. Thus, the corollary is proved. Remember that all figures that are on the same base and between the same parallels need not have equal areas. Both the figures are on the same base AB and between the same parallels AB and CD. Since ABEF is not a parallelogram, the areas of ABCD and ABEF are not equal. Both these figures are on the same base PQ and between same parallels PQ and SR. Since PQX is a triangle, the area of PQRS is not equal to the area of PQX.